Autodesk provides us with a lot of CAD tools. AutoCAD can be very expensive. One thing that people run into a lot of times with AutoCAD is that they can't open up the current file types because they have an older version of AutoCAD. Or maybe you have people who don't necessarily need CAD, but they need access to a CAD file. Maybe they need to look at it, view it, print it out, make some measurements, that type of a thing. Something that just wouldn't warrant the large price of a full-blown version and license of AutoCAD. Well, Autodesk has taken that into account, and they understand that. And to try to help people out, they've created some free CAD viewing software. One of those programs is called TrueView. TrueView used to install with AutoCAD, but now it doesn't, for whatever reason. Maybe to make the file size smaller, I'm not sure exactly. But it's a free download. Just go to autodesk.com and look for the TrueView download page. When you find that, download the software. It shouldn't take too long. And then install it. Once you install it, open it up. And this is what it will look like. It's called DWG TrueView. The latest version is TrueView 2013. There are a lot of different things that you can do with TrueView. Let me open up a file and I'll show you. As you can see, the interface looks just like AutoCAD, minus all of the extra stuff. You have a quick access toolbar and you have your application menu. But this time, instead of a big red A, it's a big blue D for DWG TrueView. So you just click on it and click on the open and click the drawing file. And let's look at our cottage plan and elevation example file for this chapter. Just open it up like you normally would. Now we have a ribbon up here and we have tabs for model space and for paper space. The interface for this is exactly like AutoCAD. So if you can use AutoCAD, you can use TrueView. Your mouse buttons work the same. I can do a pan with my middle button and zoom in and out. And a double click performs a zoom extents. I have a command line here, though I can't access it to start commands. But if you use one of the other commands in the ribbon, the information will come up here and you can get to it. There aren't very many tabs in this ribbon. And if you right click on here, you can see that just about everything is shown. So you have open and draw and convert, which is really cool. Draw and convert is one of the big reasons to have TrueView. So let's say you're using an older version. AutoCAD 2013 started a brand new DWG file type. So if someone has the latest version, you know, 2013, and they save it as an AutoCAD 2013 file type, anything older than that can't open up the file. So having TrueView 2013 is a good idea because then you can open up any file type from AutoCAD and then you can hit the draw and convert button here and you can save it all the way back to a 2000 file type, a 2004, 2007, or 2010. And you have some setups you can go through. Pick one of these and modify it and you can go through your settings here. Most of the time though, you won't need to change any of those, just the default out of the box transformation settings or conversion settings will be fine. And this will show you all the files that will be converted. And then click OK and go through that process and then it will be back saved into an older version. Then you'll be able to open it up in AutoCAD and work with the file. And that's a really good thing. Now the nice thing also about this is that it's free. So any of your project managers or any of your administrative staff, anyone can open up TrueView, open up the CAD files, and look at the files. So you could go to your administrative assistant who probably won't have a license of AutoCAD because they don't use AutoCAD all day. But you might need them to print some drawings. Maybe a client sent you some or a coworker or a colleague from another office sent you some CAD files and you would like to have them print it out. Well, instead of you doing it, they could do that for you with TrueView. Just open up the files and go to plot. And the plot settings are identical to AutoCAD. Just set up your settings and plot. Now you can also batch plot, which opens up a publisher, just like in AutoCAD. You can hit your plot preview and you have page setups that you can get to. You have your navigation, just like normal, your 3D rotate, all of your zoom options, and you can forward zoom in or forward zoom back. You can change the direction of your mouse wheel there. That's kind of a nice thing because not everything works like AutoCAD when it comes to the scroll wheel. Autodesk Inventor's scroll wheel works oppositely to what AutoCAD does. So when I scroll forward, it's a zoom out, not a zoom in, and vice versa. 
You can change your different view settings here. You can even manipulate layers, meaning that you can turn them off or turn them on, freeze them, thaw them, lock them right here if you need to, and manage your layer properties right here. You can't change the layers, but you can turn things off and on. The other nice thing about TrueView is the ability to make measurements. You have your measure geom tools, distance, radius, angle, area, and volume, and they all work the same way. So I can click on the distance command and I can snap to my line work and it will give me my information right here in the command line. And you have your snaps right here. You have different window settings if you have more than one file and you can manipulate the user interface just a little bit. That's it, it's very simple, but if all you need to do is look at your files, print them out, back save them to older versions of AutoCAD, take some measurements, then this is a great tool for you, especially for the price. It's completely free. So you can export some things here to DWF if you'd like, or to a PDF, your full print capabilities, and your other drawing properties, and then just close. So that's Autodesk DWG TrueView 2013. It's very simple and very basic, but it can give you a lot for nothing.